Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how you can complete Act 3, the Doomsday Scenario, quite easily. Now this is notoriously a really hard heist and it could take you up to 30 minutes to an hour, depending on how quick you're doing it. Um, so just buckle up, as the Elite Challenge is usually like 5-10 to 10 minutes per heist, but this one, the Elite Challenge, is 30 minutes. So for speed, what I'd recommend doing is taking the uh, Barrage, but if you want to survive, I'd recommend taking the Tank. The Tank is what I usually take, uh, as the Barrage is only really for getting there really quickly um, but yeah as you can see in the background gameplay uh, this is also going to be spliced together with multiple runs as you can see in the gameplay right now we're doing a four player heist in the tank uh, just drive down this tunnel makes it so much easier in the tank you can just shoot the enemies I'm going to speed it up just so you don't have to watch me go all the way down this tunnel once you get to the end you can stay in the tank and just nuke these juggernaut money gun guys uh, just take them out quickly because you don't want them doing too much damage to the tank as they may blow it up it hasn't blown it up for me before but they are doing a ton of damage. So once they're dead, you should be clear to move up to this room. And if you watch my last guide, what you can do is also use the grenade launcher on this corner if you want to uh, take out this room pretty quickly. It's virtually the same strategy. And as you can see, the gameplay just went from a four player heist to a two player heist, as I do want to get these guides out two player, as basically everything you can do in a two player heist, you can do in a four player heist. So if you're taking a lot of damage, what you can do is take cover behind your teammate as you'll get the CEO associate boost of health regeneration. But if you push through that room and go through this tunnel here, you, there will be a minigun juggernaut waiting for you. So my friend's nuking him with a grenade launcher, but I'm going to always finish him off with a minigun and make sure that he dies with that. Then you're going to want to split off two different directions down each corridor and make sure you're clearing out as you go along. You can take your time. There's no speed rush unless you're doing the elite challenge. So just take cover and use aim assist or wherever it is just to tell you where the enemies are. I also used a thermal sniper so I can see enemies through the wall. Now, similar to our last heist, you can use this grenade launcher strategy to clear out the room and some crates as well. Careful that the grenade launchers don't bounce back, bounce back, bounce back, as you don't want to blow yourself up. Uh, and then, as you can see, I just literally ran through these enemies in that room, and then you'll meet at, at the end of the room in a corridor, and you want to push through here fairly slowly as uh, towards the end of this room, you'll see that there'll be two minigun juggernauts as well. I'm going to get a minigun out as I do like walking through enemies with the minigun as it's just an underrated weapon in GTA Online. But as you can see, those are the juggernauts at the end there. My friend finished them off with the grenade launcher spam strategy, and I'm also just using the minigun again just to make sure that we finish them off and there's no missing going on at all. Just push up very slowly and very carefully as these guys will finish you off pretty quickly but we managed to get them off together pretty quickly. And at the end of the room, just make sure that the enemies on the left on the catwalk aren't gonna finish you off as well because they can deal damage as there's three of them. And then there's another corridor to go through, pushing it through. There's only like four or five enemies in this room here. Uh, and then that's it for pushing through this main area bit here. And then there'll be another cutscene, and then you'll be put onto notoriously one of the hardest parts of this heist, which is hacking. I do have a strategy for this, um, so I'm gonna kind of try and explain it. So what I would do is have one teammate or both of them or whoever many you have push up. If you have four players, you can go one in each corner. It'll make it so easy. Three players just do the same kind of but two players have one go in one corner where the thing is and have one teammate kill them and then push to the opposite corner of the room so that as soon as your teammate finishes the hack, the other teammate can go on the server. So as you can see, my teammate just finished the hack and I'm already in position. So I'm going to go over and go on this hack here. You don't have to worry about taking damage when you're hacking. So once I do this hack, I'm going to show you quickly a tip that you can just wiggle the laser beam if you're struggling with the hack to get some lasers. But other than that, it's very straightforward to do the hacking thing. Don't hit the red ones, hit the blue ones and make sure that you're doing all right like that. As soon as I finish this hack, I'm going to turn around and run to the other side. There shouldn't be any enemies here at the area, but again, I'm just going to go straight on it. And my teammate has already pushed the fourth location of the server, which is the, in the other corner, and he's fighting off enemies there. So as soon as that happens, he's going to go on that hack and finish off the hack right there. I'm just going to stay in this area now. I'm not going to move. I'm just going to kill off enemies. And as soon as he finishes the hack, we will be killing loads of enemies. And that is it for this thing. Hopefully that got explained very easily and it made you understand that you don't have to push this too hard on this heist. Uh, but yeah, again, four players is going to make this so much easier, but you can do it quite easily with two players. Now, where I'm taking cover is every single corner has one of these. It's like just one of the edges. There's a wall behind me, so no enemy can come from behind me. As you can see, I'm rotating. I'm going left, shooting the guys on the left, pushing to the right, shooting a guy, pushing to the left. And as soon as you've done all the hacks and taken out all the goons, this heist is quite straightforward after that. You're just going to have to run upstairs and do the orbital cannon. I'm going to fast forward this because it's also very straightforward. Just go to one. If you're communicating with your teammates, don't go to the same one, go to separate ones if you've got four players as well. If you're doing it with randoms, just go for one that isn't A, because I guarantee that someone's going to go for A, so if there's four, there's a chance. I don't know, it's going to take a while, uh, but sometimes you can get lucky and everyone goes to a different one. 
But now you've done that and got the checkpoint, you can push downstairs and go back out through a doorway and push through these enemies here in another room. Uh, just aim for headshots, push up very slowly just so you're not getting jumped on by people that aren't appearing on the map again. Uh, and then it's just going to be a lot of corridors until the end of this silo. So I'm going to fast forward this. Also, I'm going to say in the corridors there are explosive boxes, so don't push through. Kill the enemies and then push through so that a stray bullet doesn't hit the box and blow you up. Once you've done that and you've got the cutscene, you're just going to have to fly your jetpack into Avon, killing these helicopters on the way. Uh, make sure you don't get hit by any missiles. It's very straightforward. I haven't actually died on this checkpoint, I don't think, ever before. If I have, then I can't remember it happening. I've done it a few times and nobody's died, so you should be good on this bit from now on. Uh, and then once you kill Avon, you can deal with the helicopters. You don't have to just fly off and go back to the observatory and then your heist is done. So hopefully this guide helps you. Again, I hope I haven't spoken too quickly. You can slow the video down in the playback if I have. But hopefully I've told you some tips that are gonna help you complete it. And hopefully I've kept this guide and video short enough so that you've managed to watch it to this point. If you have, thanks so much. Please leave a like and subscribe, I guess. And yeah, thank you for watching. And I'll do guides coming up on future stuff. So stick around.